Hello, and welcome to episode 12. In episode 12, we are going to build on what we had done before in episode 11 with Newman projections. Hello, Newman. And what we were able to accomplish was to come up with several different three-dimensional versions of the Newman projection. After completing episode 11, I had noticed that there might be better ways to construct the conformations of ethane than the specialized types of molecules <clears throat> of models that I had been using. The models that I had demonstrated in episode 11 were very effective <clears throat> at showing uh, the C2 axis, but they weren't as effective at showing C3 and some of the mirror planes. <clears throat> and we had an even bigger problem was that while we could build specialized models for the eclipse conformation, shown here, or the staggered conformation, uh, we had no easy way to construct a model for the skew conformations. It turns out that one thing you can do is to break up the ethane molecule into two pieces. So, kind of show how we've done that. And we've broken it up into two different parts, and each part is independent of the other. So, each of these pieces, these sort of triangular prism sections, is equivalent to a methyl group. So we have a CH3 group. So we were able to extend the idea of the Newman projection even further by these individual pieces, which are very, very similar to each other. Um, there's a distinct left and right piece. We're done just so that they look nice when you had the letter C there. Otherwise, they're identical to each other. And this type of molecule, <coughs> Uh, uh, model has some enormous advantages over what we had done before. For example, um, I can show inside this particular part, we can see that we have where the mirror planes would be. So there's actually three different planes inside each of these pieces that would correspond to, they'd either be vertical or horizontal mirrors depending on what the high order rotation axis was. We can also demonstrate the C3 axis, very nicely, here we have with a piece of uh, bamboo skewer. So if you're going to use these, be very careful. They're sharp. Uh, you can definitely puncture yourself, and puncture injuries uh, have a high risk of causing tetanus. So what I did was I took my skewers and cut off the point, and then I sanded it down very carefully and painted it uh, kind of black to... Uh, make it look less like a piece of bamboo. Now you'll notice our ethane molecule, the way it's uh, constructed, is almost like an ethane kebab. So we actually have our C2 molecule skewered, as it was, almost like on a roast. Uh, this would be the C3 axis if we had eclipsed ethane. So let's show some other things that we can do with this model. This type of model also allows us to demonstrate a possible mirror plane, which will be right there. So we're able to show that. Now it doesn't show the C2s very well that may be going along here. So it doesn't show those as well. But it allows us to do a great deal with the rest of the ethane molecule. So for example, we can start off very easily with the eclipse conformation. We have no trouble doing that. We can also turn these in such a way that now we have the staggered conformation. So we're able to do that. But we're also able to turn it very slightly to make any sort of skew. And we also notice that when we look down the axis, no matter which side we use, we are actually seeing the exact Newman projection for the molecule that's behind it. So this allows the student to very easily uh, construct the uh, Newman projection for a molecule and to associate the two-dimensional representation and any possible three-dimensional representation very easily. 